Use code HDNI. Get your gamer clothes today and look fly and get 10% off. Go to Triple X today, use code HDNI, and get 20% off your grips and other controller accessories. What's up, guys? This is Handy Kill Cam, and today I'm coming at you live. So if you're feeling the vibe, hit the like button and subscribe. And today I want to talk to you about how I'm able to stream with an i3 processor on a laptop with an Elgato and my xbox one now you're gonna say handy this can't be done the elgato um twitch um all specify that you must have an i5 or higher to run successful successfully and okay so here, here here's the issue i thought i had an i5 i went to best buy about eight months ago and i saw this laptop and they said um, you know, it is an i5, and I never checked it, um, you know, because I believed it. So, when I, I've been, ha I was having problems streaming. My, um, my, when I was streaming, um, on Twitch, you know, just recently, it started to jump my OBS to 80% or so and then it would crash my um, stream um, so which was really weird because it never really did that before um, but then again um, I'm using a lot more different stuff I'm using DeepBot and different stuff like that I know it doesn't really do much on your computer but still um, you know like it was just it was just running crazy and then so I really thought that I wasn't gonna be able to stream anymore and I was really upset because that means I wasted 500 bucks well I started doing some research and I realized that I could still do it um, as long as I have fast internet and you see here my specs you know Windows 10 home you know version whatever whatever um, my OS build, um, product ID, um, all this stuff, and like, you know, stuff like that, and my processor, here's the problem, right here, you know, it says I had, you know, I really thought I had an i5, and I don't, so, there's an i3, so, if you really think I'm like down two grades than what I'm supposed to have. Well, so I started doing some research and like I said, I found out as long as I have good internet, I'm good to go. So here I'm gonna show you my internet. I'm um, sorry, this is um I was looking up the update for OBS. I did not update to OBS. Um we'll just close out of that real quick and then we open. But so here we are. Um, speed test. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you my speed real quick. So you can see that I absolutely have amazing upload. Um, I do pay for it though. Um, it's a lot of money for me to have this upload. <laughs> so, okay, so you're going to see my thing is out of Dallas. And that's the, the closest to me. Uh, I am in uh, San Antonio. So my, my ping is 19, you know. And then here's my upload. My upload's supposed to be 300. But the modem that they gave me can't. I mean, my download's supposed to be 300, but the modem that they gave me can't um, support the speed. So they give me a discount on my internet until they can. And then, so you're gonna see it's gonna jump to at least to 21 to 22. My upload, 
and then see right here we're almost gonna push 20 24 are we gonna do 24 no not today no 24 so you see my upload is at 24 that's amazingly fast so that right there automatically says if I wanted to I could stream 1080p but I'm not here to show you 1080p because for one I'm not partnering on Twitch so it's pointless for me to stream on 1080p so let me show you what I've learned okay so now that I know that my speed is at 24 or, or, or 23 you go into OBS right here you're gonna go into your settings and the main thing that they try to teach you is bitrate but the one thing that they don't really teach you is that if you don't match your bitrate with your buffer size if you don't match your buffer size with your bitrate you're hurting yourself and I guess the best way to say this is it's kinda like if you had a noise gate on your internet connection and if you if you turn your noise gate up too much which we'll call the noise gate the buffer the buffer um, the buffer size if you turn up that noise gate too much um, you're not letting the sound come through and then therefore you're not gonna hear anything well that's the same thing here if you either have this too low or too high you're cutting yourself from a good internet connection and a good um, a good quality stream so what I did was is I took this and I realized that I had you know good internet so I went to 30,000 um, bitrate and then I matched it with um, my buffer size now originally I started at I believe 35 well, once I started at 35 um, I started to lose frames now so I just gradually kept going down I now to be honest I didn't go from 35 to 34 to 33 I went straight from 35 to 30 and once I did that you'll see that over here once we close this out oh and another thing I did too is I changed you want to change this if you know super fast don't don't be afraid um, you're not gonna do anything crazy um, as long as your computer's not super old like I said this laptop's maybe nine months old so I mean you know you could do it um, so you can see right here my CPU is only running 19% as I'm recording that is amazing you see before I did this before I changed the bitrate before I changed the buffer size idling I was pushing 50% but now when I stream without idling I'm pushing 40 to 50% so that basically leaves me enough RAM or enough CPU excuse me to do what I need to do and and my stream doesn't crash so I mean it's the best way to go uh, yes I'm rocking OBS studios I'm sorry for the double screen um, I really didn't feel like opening up OBS classic to to do this video because then I haven't changed the settings to, to what I have on here on OBS classic um, OBS classic actually gives me a lot of time uh, a lot of problems because they don't do um, updates for OBS Classic anymore so you're gonna have to switch eventually if you haven't already to OBS Studios now the one the only thing I'm having with OBS Studios is that my cam won't show up like it will turn on but it doesn't show up but anyway that's another video for another time but I just want to show you you see right here in this corner right here I'm pushing maybe 22 percent and I'm recording now if I turn on my Elgato and I start streaming it's gonna push 40 percent but when I stop this when I stop recording or whatever it idles easy only seven percent 
Now that's an amazing, amazing reduction compared to when it was idling. Just the program on no streaming, no recording, it was idling at 40%. Um, rule of thumb, whenever you're streaming, or whenever you're streaming, it will automatically add 20% to the CPU that is um, already running OBS. So if your OBS is r idling at 50%, or 60% and it's not recording or streaming then you're gonna be at a 70% or possibly jumping to 80% um, CPU rate while you're streaming so this is why you want to get your bit rate down because I mean your bit rate up because if you get your bit rate up basically it takes off all the stress off your off your CPU and it just lets your internet fly now mind you you gotta have a good internet to do this but Nowadays, it's really not hard to get good internet. And with that this said, this is Handy Kill Cam, and I hope you find this handy. And if you do, hit the like button, favorite, and subscribe. Handy out.